Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. And it's good to see you. We're finishing off our series of 10 part series on expository preaching. And we've, what we've done today is just given a, a little appetite in what it's all about. Now, excuse me. We're just looking at study methods for for uh, expository preaching. John MacArthur says an expository preacher must be a diligent student of Scripture, because the Bible is God's holy and sacred word. It must be treated with respect, its purity protected, and its intended message never violated or misrepresented. It is not to be handled flippantly or carelessly, but great deliberation and industry must mark all the efforts to discern its truth and commitment to the inerrancy of the Bible carried with its mandate to preach the Bible expositionally as noted earlier. All right. Three basic principles for biblical study. Uh, observation. Observation is the initial step in Bible study. An interpreter must avoid the temptation to jump immediately into interpreting the specific elements of a passage. Um, just don't jump in and interpret the text. Spend your time thinking about the text. Interpretation. After observing in detail the various parts of a passage, the next logical step is to determine the meaning. That process is known as interpretation. Observation answers the question, what does the passage say? Interpretation answers the question, what does the passage mean? One should interpret the Bible literally in its normal, natural sense. At least four gaps exist. The language gap. The Bible was written in Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek. So you need to study Vine's Expository Dictionary, etc. The cultural gap. The cultural setting in which part of the Bible was written is very different from ours. We need to look at that. The Life of Times of Jesus of Messiah by Aleph Alfred Erdersheim is very helpful. The ge geographical gap. Understanding the geography of the Bible lands is helpful. Um, a good Bible atlas such as the Macmillan Bible Atlas or the Wycliffe Historical Geography of Bible Lands. And fourth, historical gap, knowing the historical setting. Bible encyclopedias such as Zondra and Pictorial Encyclopedia are helpful. Then we have application. After observation and interpretation comes application. Bible study is not complete until the truth discovered is applied in the heart. Ask questions, are there examples to follow? Are there commands to obey? Are there errors to avoid? Are there sins to forsake? Are there promises to claim? Are there new thoughts about God? Are there principles to live by? Okay, that's just uh, a little introduction uh, to expository preaching. And so I would encourage you to to look into preaching, uh, look into the Master Seminary, look at John MacArthur and how he does it. Don't be a slave and just follow everything they say. Make sure you check what they say by scripture. But I will assure you that if you take up expository preaching, it will be a blessing to you and to the church. So let's close in prayer on this issue. It's a very important issue. If you've been called to preach, you've been given a great task. So take it seriously. This is the word of God. You've been given a great task. And maybe God's calling you to do more expository preaching than you have been doing. And uh, that would be so wonderful if you started to do that. It would be such a blessing to the church of God. And if you could encourage people to do expository preaching, uh, that would be wonderful. The church needs the word of God. There has been a downgrade over the last 20, 30 years in the evangelical church where preaching the word of God is becoming less and less seen as important. And you need... Uh, along with other people who you can inspire through God's help to encourage a new generation of expository preachers. Will you do that? Let's pray. Lord, it's a great, great task to preach the word. But Lord, it's a demanding task to be an expository preacher. 
to spend time studying your word praying and studying it and then feeding the flock is not an easy task to do and Lord I pray that the preachers who have heard this series might take their calling serious might be renewed and invigorated to continue to do what they're doing and Father I pray that you bless their preaching you bless their ministries and Father I pray that you would help them and encourage them to inspire a new generation of expository preachers Lord I pray that these series would be used to inspire tens of thousands of preachers throughout the world to proclaim your word faithfully by expository preaching and I pray that your church would be blessed by that new movement Lord of people who are going to expound your word and I pray that these sermons would be spirit filled anointed with you but Lord they would be solidly biblical and I ask that you bless these preachers Lord protect them, help them and encourage them and be with them each day Lord in your name Amen Amen uh, if you're a young seminarian or a young preacher and you want advice about your sermons uh, just Skype me at jason.burns107 jason.burns107 send me a recording of your sermon and I'll send you a report, a critique of your sermon uh, to encourage you about how to preach, okay? Or send me your sermon in written form and I will critique it for you so that you can be better. Or send me uh, a recording and I'll listen and I'll send you a 500 word critique and just to encourage you. Uh, if you're a, um, a church and you want me to come and just give you some lectures on expository preaching I'm happy to do that uh, if you want me to come and preach uh, I'm happy to come and preach but the most important thing is that you as a preacher start to expound that Bible faithfully and take it seriously what you're doing and uh, be encouraged to go forward and not to compromise but to keep going and dig into the word and teach it to the flock. Alright, God bless you and thank you for listening.